Kids naturally learn through play. Creative play simply means it's a playful experience that culminates in the making of something. The Imagination Foundation is a community of thousands of volunteers all over the world yeah. who are working in their own unique contexts with kids in their communities to foster creativity. And I would define the Imagination Foundation as much more of a movement than a program. A handful of months ago, the Imagination Foundation was approached by engineers at Google who wanted to work with us to answer a question about the relationship between science and creativity. If you're observing the world, there's a lot of interesting phenomena that you can't really see if you have a question about the world and you want to get an answer, science is the process by which you do it. A lot of science is about inquiry, and as a kid, you're really questioning the world around you. Vivian, take one. What's your name? Well, Vivian. Okay. What is wind? What is wind? What is wind? Wind is very strong air. It keeps you fresh. I think wind is a source of energy that you can use for um, power and stuff. It usually blows our papers away or it blows our hair. A lot of times, as adults, we've already built up our, our worldview and we already have a sense of how things work. Oh, I found it! Our partnership with the Making in Science team is really a special opportunity to explore some big questions about science and about who is a scientist and what does it mean to be a scientist. Are you a scientist? Sort of. Are you a scientist? Yes, because when we're in class, I like to discover new things that we've never done before. Are you a scientist? Everyone is a scientist. It's going to record how much it's spinning. We started out thinking about the Science Journal app like a camcorder for data. Up to 400 something. Smartphones have all these amazing sensors that let you see the world around you. They let you see the forces acting on the cell phone, how much sound is coming into the cell phone, etc. There's all sorts of information that the camera or the sensors can see, and we can visualize that and let you record it and take a note about it. And you can add observations to it. So instead of writing in your actual science journal, you can just type it into this phone. Yay! So those of you who like to text, I love, I love, I love text. text. I love text. Go like this. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, it was like 500 something. So the science journal app turns a creative exercise into what we might think of as a scientific experiment. Not even zero. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 The kids are going to take it and just do all kinds of stuff that we've never thought about. And I think they could come up with some really cool experiences or experiments. And it should ask you to get started. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. We love the fact that the Google engineers we've been working with are inspired by the natural way that children engage the world. And we thought it was an excellent opportunity to bring in our chapters from different places around the world to explore the way that children interact with new concepts, with new technologies. An imagination chapter is a pop-up space for learning. Our chapter leaders are all over the world. 130 chapters in 20 countries. We equip communities with tools and inspiration. Inside these boxes, they have got special cell phones with special apps and science experiments. I can't wait to see how all these individual stories of kids and community leaders come together in one bigger story. What's your favorite scientist? Ooh, my favorite scientist. Okay, wave your fake wind at it. Ready? I think my favorite one would be Jane Goodall because she was a scientist since she was a little kid. She loved observing the world around her, and I feel like she's a great role model for my students who do science all the time. So it kind of shows that you can be a scientist anytime in your life. That's nice to hear.